show you how to upgrade your late 2010 MacBook Air to a 256 gig SSD drive. Now, if you have one of these hanging around, it may still be working great like this one, but the 64 gig SSD was just too small to really load anything or do any real work. Now, with the prices of SSDs coming down, there's a number of people that are offering kits that will convert a standard SSD into a format that will fit on the MacBook Air. And this was surprisingly easy to do. I give it maybe a two and a half or three out of 10 as far as difficulty. This kit included the two security screwdrivers that you need to access the MacBook Air. You take all the screws out, the cover easily comes off. Now the two screws on the back near the screen are a little bit longer and the SSD location is right in the center. There's a single screw to remove the SSD and then you can just pull it out. Here you can see they just adapted a standard SSD to fit the MacBook Air format. Here's what it looks like installed. Now when you put the back cover on, make sure to align all the screws properly so that you don't strip them when you put it back in. It's a little bit tricky. You have to reinstall macOS High Sierra onto the new SSD. There's instructions with the kit on how to do that. And when you do, you'll be greeted by your new faster SSD. Now I restored from a time machine backup and I was able to go from the desktop to reboot in a minute 24. There you go. That's how you can upgrade your MacBook Air so that you can still use it with a 256 gig SSD. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products.